Hey everyone, we are here in Adobe Premiere CS6 and I'm going to show you one of the coolest new features of CS6 Adobe Premiere and that's the adjustment layer. One of the, the annoying things of working with effects in past versions is that you would constantly have to apply an effect to each of your video clips. So in this instance, I'm going to scrub through. So here's a girl walking, here's just a shot of campus, and here's like another shot of campus, right? So if I wanted to like color correct all these I would have to color correct one and then copy and paste the effect to each of these different clips. What's great now is a new thing called adjustment layer. What I can do is come over here, I'm on my, uh, over by the media browser in the bin. See this little, it almost looks like a piece of paper with a corner folded up. I'm gonna click that. It's gonna ask me which new item I want. I'm gonna select adjustment layer. Uh, there's a few basic options just making sure you have the right settings for the video. It should be automatic for whatever your se current sequence is. And I can drag this adjustment layer and put it right over my clips. And I can make it as long as I want or as short as I want. In this case, I'll make sure it's even with the, the first clip and the back clip. And so what I can do now is I can apply an effect to this adjustment layer. And it'll directly affect everything underneath it. So I only applied the effect once, but it works on anything that's beneath the layer, which is totally saves time. So let me go through my effects. Uh, I'll just type, uh, I'll do something really weird real quick just to make it do color balance. I'm gonna drag color balance to my adjustment layer, double click it. So anyway, so over here in the effects. And where are we color balance, right? So we're gonna, we're gonna drop the saturation. We're gonna make this black and white just for dramatic effect. Oh, it's so artsy. But as you can see here, right, is that the effect affected everything underneath the adjustment layer. So instead of having to drop the saturation on the first clip and then cut and paste that to the other ones, I'm done. It got the job done. It was nice and simple. So if you're new to CS6, make sure you make use of this feature because it is totally a time saver. 